Welcome back, guys, to Persona 5 Royal, where last episode on Saturday night we went to meet with a politician outside the station, joining Yoshida in his speech by holding up a sign and witnessing the heckling he receives before making plans with our schoolmates to go to Harajuku the next day. After enjoying the trip on Sunday, we met with Yoshida once again and learned of his past, starting the sun confidant to end the day, and now with Monday having begun with us helping Yoshizawa after witnessing her being harassed, we now rest after cleaning up the park. I don't know the best way to put it, but it sure was a crappy time out there. Oh! I finally found you! I was trying to find you so I could thank you properly for this morning. So, where'd the other people in your group go? I mean... They dished me! <laughs> ah, I see. I'm in pretty much the same situation. If it's all right with you, why don't we eat our soup together? I'll just say sure. I'm not quite sure I get this is soup though. Like you can't share soup. Is that what you're saying? We can slip from both sides like Lady and the Tramp. I don't know. Ooh, there was a spaghetti ring in the middle. I'll just say sure. for the food. I want to thank you again for this morning. That man was even more frightening than he might have appeared to you. So I truly appreciate what you did for me. Thank you so much. And you're welcome. Yes. There's one more issue I need to address. I'm also so sorry for what happened the other day. Huh? <laughs> About what? I can't remember now. You mean when they were, we were outside the uh, teacher's office? And there was Kamishida there and stuff? The run-in we had outside of the guidance office. Remember the discussion we just had? There are a number of students in this school you shouldn't get involved with. This one's at the top of the list. Oh, oh, oh. The delinquent transfer student? Mr. Kamoshida had just told me about you a moment prior, so I sort of spoke without thinking there. I heard some of my classmates gossiping about you too. <laughs> For real? <laughs> Were you disappointed? No, nothing of the sort. I don't like gossip or rumors and the like. And I know this will sound strange since I just met you, but you don't seem like the kind of person they describe. It'd be a different story if all those rumors were actually true, though. What were all the crimes I'd heard? Burglary, murder, and elephant tusk trafficking, was it? <laughs> I drive without a license, too. <laughs> That's actually more believable. Oh, that one is actually true, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even I can tell you're joking. Hmm? You know what? It just hit me. I haven't introduced myself yet. So I will introduce myself first. I guess it would be saying last name is with the normal no way. Let's go cash. Oh, I'm sorry to make you go first. I apologize this was such a long time coming, but I hope we can get along well. I believe you already learned from our meeting at school that my... What the hell just happened? Huh, look. Seems to be a Shujin Academy pocketbook. The name Kasumi Yoshizawa is written inside. Got it, just in time. Here you are. Don't let go of things you like, okay? Sorry, I didn't mean to run out on you like that. Uh, I'll just say you dropped this. Huh? <laughs> I guess you sleuthed me out before I got to tell you. Well, you've cracked the case. I'm Kasumi Oshizawa, a first year. Let's just say that was impressive. We won't ask about the athlete. She'll explain herself. You mean that back there? 
Oh, it was just some basic gymnastics. It's not that difficult once you get the hang of it. Just a hop, skip, and a jump. Gymnastics, huh? Hey, don't you think some of those moves would be awfully useful? I was just thinking about how the Phantom Thieves need to get some sweeter moves, too. What's the matter, Senpai? Wait, is there a cat somewhere around here? Uh, can you teach me some gymnastics <laughs> to change the subject? Does that mean you're interested in gymnastics? That makes me so happy. I'd be honored if you'd allow me. The only problem is... I have a favor to ask for myself as well, if you wouldn't mind. Lately, I haven't been getting the results I want from my performances, and I'm worried that I'm overthinking things. So it would be wonderful if you could give me some advice whenever you have the time. You want my advice? About, like, murder and tusk fevery? Sure I do. I'd love if you were willing to lend me an ear from time to time. I see. This sounds like a pretty sweet deal to me. What do you think? We have a deal. Yes, sir! Wait, that's a little overboard. But I promise, I'll glean as much as I can. We're going to the future a lot. I've read in the reports that the Phantom Thieves' physical abilities are more acrobatic than the average person's. It seems you've gained an aptitude for specialty equipment as well. Wouldn't a natural conclusion to draw be that you were trained by an expert in that field? Well, tell me the truth. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Faith Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. That's an interesting picture. <laughs> Faith rank one only can go to five. Okay then. I like as an expert in the field, it's like, nah, just a practicing student. <laughs> Fail politician, you know, this kind of stuff. But we're getting some new confidence again now. Alright. Oh, why don't we exchange contact information? Huh? It shut down. Sorry, my smartphone's been acting up lately. <laughs> it's back! Okay, I'll contact you when I've got free time, if that's fine. Attention, Shujin Academy students. The cleanup event will be ending momentarily. Please do not discard your trash in the bins here. Instead, bring your waste to the predetermined location for disposal. After that, we will be officially releasing everyone for the day. Thank you all for your hard work. Well, the cleanup seems to be finished. We're already in our gym clothes. Would you care for some basic training before heading home? Let's start with some core exercises. Those are the foundation for staying in shape. Plank it is. I train with Kasumi. Muddy! Yo. Another box game for you. Hey! We got electproof choker and windproof choker. Oh. Must be what you ordered off the TV. The only way we can use them, though. We're finally home. Oh, you're all dusty. Hurry up and get changed. Hey. Actually, didn't Kawakami give you a phone number? You gotta call her. I can't. I tried. Nice. You're telling me I need to go get more guts. Introducing Madarami's exhibition has gotten rave reviews, even from overseas. He's received even more praise for his dynamic art style. Requests for commissions are flooding in. Hey, hey. Seems that even people outside of Japan love him too. I don't really get art. Hmm? You're asking for allowance, the answer is no. You want money, earn it yourself. Six days until legal action. What do I do now? 
to end this day off. Now listen up. Just thinking about like what I can actually seemingly get guts with. Requires me to uh, go eat and study maybe? It's not raining or anything so we don't get like bonuses. Eh. Just don't know what to do now. I'll go to Shibuya. I'll go to the diner and I will have some food. That's crazy. So I'm hoping it's more. Hmm. 30 for the night. Yep. It's good that we managed to find seats even if it's a bit crowded. Okay, may I take your order? We're having the surprise stando again. Fish paste. Got it. I'll be right back with your order. Mm. <laughs> it sure does look good, but yeah, it probably actually tastes good too. Oh, poor you. I'm hungry For now real? myself. Let's go the down valley head station. I'm overwhelmed by your guts. <laughs> I don't know how many points that is, though. Bingo. All right. Staunch. Looks like you were able to get some studying done, but there's just too much noise. We're doing knowledge, we're doing guts. We've barely done charm, kindness, and proficiency, to be honest. Wanna head back? Oh, that should be enough for today. Come on, let's go home. I have my guts. Now I can hopefully do two more things. Oh, we're still in the month. Morning. What's up? By the way, the exhibit's till the end of this week, huh? We did what we could, and now we wait for the results. Wanna head out? Let's study? What do you mean? Can we get some extra knowledge points by just saying this? No way, Nope, man. that's one option. That's a definite no. School's enough to study. Let's exercise, man. No, you can't force me into things. I've actually gone into fishing lately, although it's just a pond fishing from time to time. It's just pond fishing, is it? Not much in there. I can't go sea fishing because I get seasick easily. So much of my dream of being a sailor. Alright, when people think of sailing the high seas, they tend to think of pirates. Even though they're ruffians who plunder other ships and coastal sediments through force. For some reason, they end up getting romanticized. Well then, it's all to what is the answer? Do you know which peg-legged parrot-toting historical figure's appearance became visual shorthand for pirates? <laughs> it's not going to be Captain Kidd, is it? Is Captain Kidd a completely fictional one? I haven't heard of Anne Bonny. I think I've heard of James Cook, but I... I don't know. Of course we've heard of Long John Silver. Which one's had peg legs and parrots? Captain Kidd have peg leg and parrot? The only pirate I know is John Silver. <laughs> and he's a cool wrestler too. Let's go do a spin doctor. It's, 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 so it's either that or that. Uh, John Silver, I know who that person is. <laughs> this is it. Very good. That is correct. Thank you. <laughs> the answer is Long John Silver, a character from Treasure Island. Did read that when I was younger. The story of Long John Silver informed much of our modern view of pirates. Unfortunately, he only exists in fiction. In terms of non-fictional pirates, well, oh, he's only fiction too. <laughs> Captain William Kidd made quite a. What? I went the opposite way round. I don't know who Captain William Kidd is apart from the fake guy. This. What? Wait, if I read the book when I was younger, of course he's... Just... Never mind. Okay? I... I feel I'm stupid enough.
Captain William Kidd made quite a name for himself, I'd say. Maybe you're familiar with the story of his execution, how he declared that he hid all his treasure in one place. No, I have no clue who this guy is. <laughs> no way. Oh, I got it right. Is he really a criminal? What the hell? He seems like a bug, but maybe he's actually serious about studying. Nice going. I must be really smart. I don't know. That's backwards compliment at this point. about Pugwash? I know that one too. Is he fictional? Though research seems to indicate that he didn't actually have much. Still, several novels were written based on his legend and people still look for his treasure today. By the way, I've heard that there's an island in Kyushu where kids' treasure is said to sleep. What? Yep. Kids' secret treasure? We've got lots of its actual worth. There's still value in letting that many people dream about it. This has been a very enlightening day of school. It's not enlightening, it's more me thinking I'm dumb as all sin. But I got it right, so what's matters? I didn't think she would come. Oh, maybe she's skipping practice. I hate those events. All they do is make me dirty and tired. I think they'll do it again next year. If they are, I'm definitely skipping. Why the goody two-shoes first year come along? Their whole I'm not borrowing routine really pisses me off sometimes. Oh my god. The pollen's bad today. If lots of people are suffering from pollen allergies, it could be affecting their mentals too. The main issue with me, like, going, oh, yes, <laughs> I read it as a book, and then not making the link is because, of course, I didn't remember nothing about this book. <laughs> okay, we have you. This is nearly complete, and there's something I really want to test out. Could you come to the clinic, my little guinea pig? Okay, that's gonna grow to seven. But Arn's available. And I probably should do Arn to catch her up a bit. I don't know. <laughs> Captain Kid was a privateer that got his license taken away and got shafted. <laughs> okay. I'm investigating Yoshizawa-san now, but like the rumors say, she really has her act together. All the students were exempt from cleaning, but she volunteered because she didn't want to be treated differently. She's that kind of person. Hmm, it kind of sounds like you know a lot about her. Are you stalking her or something? You know, maybe you should follow her example. People will probably stop being suspicious of you. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh. I see you're not actually reading manga, which the pages are actually well written on them. What the hell? manga is this? <laughs> but you're doing a sneaky spy, right? I see I can't talk to you. Ah! What is it? I was so engrossed in my book I didn't notice you. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a student council meeting to attend. Are we done here? Well then, see you. My god. She's just like out there spying on me. Ikazuki kun are you free after this? Let's go hang out in Shibuya with everyone. Sorry, but I've just been too tired lately. It always feels like somebody's watching me. And I found this hand-knit scarf on my desk, but it's almost summer. Am I being pranked? Oh, that's so creepy. Yeah, it sounds like a stalker. Better talk to a teacher if it gets any worse. Hmm? You bitch, that's my Ikazuki kun <gasps> Wait, is she one of those phantom thieves of hearts? What are you doing with someone else's man? Burn, trampy bitch. Burn and bleed in a bloodstorm. I'll never ever let anyone else have it. Iksuki can belongs to me. Only me. Can we deal with this person, please? Because I feel like there's going to be an actual possible murder. Hmm? What's the student council president been doing? She's acting pretty suspiciously. I'm wondering if school's sneaking around. I saw her hanging out in Shibuya for some reason, too. She was acting just like a detective, working on a case. Maybe she thinks she is one. She did check out some detective novels the other day. Maybe she's just really into detectives now. Maybe. What would you like? I would like a certain book. Um. Boo. Wait, will we ever study here again? Is there ever any point in studying here if we can study somewhere else and get other stats? that the class next was went out together. They're so close to each other. I wish our class would do stuff like that. Isn't that a bit tiresome? There's a lot of people and it's loud. I'd go if Yoshizawa-san's going, but we're not in the same class. She wouldn't go. I hear she's kind of a buzzkill. 
Apparently she says no even when she's invited because she needs to practice. That's not her fault though. She's an incredible gymnast. She's probably under a lot of pressure. Jeans don't compare to ours. Oh, I need to save the game, by the way. Because next part of an experiment's about to begin. They're still here now, but what if they're not here next month? Then this leaves me the last day to enter Mementos would be right now. And I would return the save for that. <laughs> Mystic side quest. No, no, no. Especially when I have the power. Like I've been missing Yakisoba pan everywhere. Okay. I think we should go hang out with Arn. I think there's probably nothing else for us to do in the short term. Be honest, eh? Be honest, am I actually getting stronger? I've been working really hard, but I haven't noticed any change. Anyway, would you mind hearing me out again? Are you free today? I mean, I can become close with Arn thanks to the lover's persona, Ame no Azume. So what do you think? Will you spend some time with Lady Arn? Yes. Also, just realized, uh, before I talk to the guy at night anymore, I have to get a sun persona, correct? Damn. I don't think I've even got one of them yet. Thanks. Then I'll see you in Inokashira Park. In the pollen warning. That park's going to be crazy. Oh, look at those ducks over there. They must be a family. This place seriously feels amazing. It's not even that far from Shibuya, but it feels so different here. Hey. You know, Tokyo is so strange. There are tons of people and tons of stores, yet there are still duck-filled parks here, too. It has everything, but it feels like I can't understand any of it. It's honestly kind of scary. I know what you mean. Sounds like I'm emphasizing. I was like, eh, what should I choose? All right, you only just moved here, Alice. Hey. When I first got here, I had a super tough time adjusting. It's so crowded and everyone walks really fast. Almost like they're angry or something. Even at school, I was only ever the foreigner. Nobody really knew me. They just spread rumors. I thought maybe my looks were the problem. I even considered dyeing my hair black to match everyone else. But that was when Shio talked to me. The first thing she said was, Takamaki-san, your paintings suck. That was mean of her. Oh, wait a second. This is Shio. <laughs> I missed that context for a second there. This is an icebreaker. That's hilarious. I thought she was just making fun of me like everyone else, but that wasn't her intention. <laughs> According to her, they were just so bad that she just had to tell me. Pretty mean, huh? Still, that was the first time someone here talked to me about mentioning my looks. <laughs> we sort of just grew closer after that. She has been my best friend ever since. That's not why we're here, though. There's something else I need to talk to you about. Hey. Do you remember what I told you the last time you came here? About that female thief in the anime I used to watch. Well, I thought of something. I'm afraid to know. There's a message from my wife in there. <laughs> the cat bashing the door open. <laughs> cool. I lost my track of the thing. I'm not doing well on this one. You remember what I told you last time you came here? About that female thief in the anime I used to watch? Well, I thought of something. Okay, just tell me. It's gonna knock your socks off. Um. You know how the villains in those shows are always going on about world domination? Well, even though they get beaten by the heroes every time, they never give up. That means they must really have really solid hearts. And that's why I'm going to try and learn from them. How exactly? I want to ask her questions, but it just feels like the right answer for a conversation with Arn is superficial. Like, everything is, like, really small talk. Superficial stuff. And it honestly feels like she, all she wants me to be doing is going, Uh, uh-huh, yeah, sure, huh? That's hilarious. Right? Oh man. So I've decided. 
I feel bad now. Yes! I'm gonna star in action movies. Good luck. It is just nod. Thanks, your support really helps. All right, I'm gonna make. I'm making this my ultimate goal for the future. You know, I have never really thought about much about what I wanted to do in life, but now I have an objective, Thanks. and that only happened because of talking to you, Alice. Thanks. That's a heightened motivation for man. Oh, that sucks. I don't want to be that friend, though. Sexy technique. Chance to grab the enemy's attention and cancel their action. That's kind of cool, actually. But now I'm becoming that person. Oh, uh, yeah. Superficial friend. All right. Well, if I want to be in action movies, I'll need to work on my actions. I wonder how many sit-ups I'll have to do. Wait, Ryuchi said he knows a good gym. I should ask him for advice. Oh, yeah. I want to need to tell Shio that I have a new goal. She'll definitely be happy to hear that. Come on, let's head home. Come on, let's jog to the station. I'm fine with that. <laughs> that guy, how could you? I don't know. Hi, it's me. You good to talk right now? So I'd like to think I'm pretty athletic, like I don't hate exercise or anything, but I'm exhausted just from running to the station earlier. Maybe I've got to train my body along with my heart. Do you do anything to train your body? I carry Morgana in my bag. So weight heavy. I guess I'll say I train every day. I seem to actually train quite regularly with Ryuji, but that's probably what she wants to hear. That's pretty much your lifestyle. You don't like to do squats in class or anything, right? Oh, my thighs are hurting just thinking about it. Okay, first I need to research what kind of training's best for me. For now, I'll just do some curls with a water bottle. I <laughs> already drank it halfway, but better than nothing, right? Well, see you later. This actually is better than nothing. Ah, you're back. Yeah. Yes! Well, the natural move to make here would be pawn to 4-3. But you asked about pawn to 9-5? I don't think I'd ever make that move. It's something a maverick. Oh, he just moved his pawn to 9-5. Oops. Crossword! Hey, hey! Are you going to play crossword puzzles? You have other stuff to do, so don't get too into it. It doesn't cost time! Except it costs your time. He honga Cultural artwork? Okay, let's do the other thing. Sushi wrapper. I don't know. <laughs> Kimono sash. Tie? I don't, uh, Japanese floral art. I don't know any of these. I think I'm best off trying to get the foot, the, the middle one. So it's Nihonga. Oh! Nihon is Japan. <laughs> I don't know what ga adds on top of it. Okay, Japan is literally in here. So I'd assume that this means Nihonga question mark cultural work. It probably just means Japan. Japanese cultural bag. Oh, oh, nori! I was thinking seaweed, not the Japanese word for it. Kimono sash? Is that... I don't know what that is at all. I know nori, thankfully. No clue what these two answers are. Like, it's not even like the blight or anything like that. I actually have zero clue. I don't know if we've come up with these words during the playthrough. Kimono sash. It's, uh, it's Kai, Dragon Ball. <laughs> I 
It's Sai, the weapon. So I actually have no clue what these are, but I'm pretty sure this is... Oh, it's not Sai because the S goes here. I'm pretty sure this is just Japanese, so I've got the answer to the actual thing. But I actually don't know these things. So, because they're not the answer, and because I know that no amount of thinking will actually make me figure this out, I, I still want to know, so I am going to use some Google Foo. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> I don't dislike it, even though you might. <laughs> Ain't that the way it works? Because I've got- I've, I'm pretty sure I've got the answer. Japanese. Floral art. Ikebana. I've heard of this! But I would- I've heard the word, but I would have no actual... I need to clear this one. So this one is, uh... Bay? Ue? <laughs> Kimono Sesh. Oh wow, it actually came- the funny thing about this is it comes up, the top entry is crossword clue solver, kimono sash, crossword clue answers. Obi. Really? Oh, okay. Again, I think I've heard of it. I've heard the word be used in Japanese, but I don't learn it. All you get is uh, the words that you kind of like take in from watching anime. That's about the level I'm at, which is rubbish. <laughs> As you probably heard me say, but this is Japanese. It's just, I had... Yeah, I'm not that learned. In contrast to imported Western art styles, paintings produced post-1900 using techniques developed within Japan are referred to as Nihonga. Foreigners visiting Japan during the Meiji period called this Japanese painting, which the literal Japanese translate as Nihon, Japan, and Ga. Oh, so Ga's artwork. Oh, okay. That makes sense. All right. I see. Wow, even I can figure that one out. I can figure out the other ones. Yeah, I got the blue one. Nice. That's the only one I needed to get. <sighs> Why are you taking a kid like this? I must be getting old. My god, the amount of grumbles you do. What can I do? <gasps> I think we're gonna call over a certain someone. Yes? Oh shoot, it'd be nice to know, like, if you're confident what your confident thing is. I feel like I can call whenever I want since I'm full of guts now. Oh. Thinking of calling in a maid? Well, if you use this, you won't leave proof in your call history. This is all the good for the Phantom Thieves, right? Sure. 